before you start rebuilding the carburetor, it's best to look up what type of carburetor you have in your Briggs and Stratton uh, lawnmower. So I have a intake edge overhead head valve 6.5 horsepower, but that doesn't mean much. I should do some research uh, on my lawnmower. So if I go to their website, I can go under manuals and then I can select engines. Now I'll type in my model number. <laughs> so for mine, it's 1216821 uh, and the type is 0122 and it's an E1. So right here I can see my operator's manual illustrated part list and this is what I'm interested interested in is a part list. I click on that and it loads up a PDF file and because I'm working on the carburetor page 4 and if I scroll all the way down to page Four, I can see my uh, part list of the carburetor. According to here, I'll need a gasket for the bowl and the pin right here, and and so forth. So I can do all my research and buy all the parts before I take it apart. Over there, if you scroll all the way down to the part list, then you can refer from the reference number to the part number and a description So I have the carburetor removed right now and all I did was I just took a brush, used some of the gas that I drained out uh, and uh, some compressed air to blow away all the stuff around it and just clean it up. So now I'm ready to uh, take open the bottom, release the nut. I'm going to go ahead and do something even more. So I have the nut loose right now. This was a little bit hard to pop open. As you can see there's a lot of debris collected on the bottom and this must have been clogging the jet over time. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to pour it away and clean this bowl real quick. Nice and clean right now. Now I'm going to remove the rubber gasket around here and the gasket's gone so and then I'm just going to take a little bit of gasoline and just brush away the edge. So that's nice and clean right now and I'm going to let this sit and dry a little bit and then I'll move it to the bench and work on the carburetor. As you saw in my previous video one of the intake gaskets was uh, damaged. Here's the damaged piece right here and I always have some Mr. Gasket sheets right here that I always have for backup and I've used it for many years still haven't used up the whole row yet but what I did was I just took uh, the piece uh, put it over the sheet of gasket and then just trace it and then cut out a replacement and this worked fine so as I showed you how to go online find the carburetor part number and I was able to buy this whole kit it has pretty much everything in it as you can see uh, here's the bowl here's the gasket here's the bowl nut so <clears throat> what do you do next so first we want to remove the float pin which is right here for this example it just pulls right out um, and if it doesn't pull right out and use a needle, needle nose to pull it out next you can take out the float right here is the uh, the needle we're going to replace that with a new needle we're going to replace the new pin as well too um, 
here's the float itself. I just want to inspect it to make sure that there's, it's not punctured and doesn't have gas uh, inside of it. So this looks good. When you rebuild the carburetor, there's also um, welch plugs. So we have two right here. Um, what you want to do is you do want to take them out if you want to fully rebuild it. And um, when you take it out, there's um, passages down uh, behind it and you want to uh, clean it and, and blow through it and make sure that's all uh, clear. Um, I, sadly, I only have one welch plug replacement. So <clears throat> because of that, I am going to just replace one of them. And since this one right here is corroded a little uh, a bit, so I'm going to replace this one right here. Um, the way how you do it is you take a drill and you There you go. As you can see, it just pops right out like that. After you take the welch plug off, um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the needle uh, seat off. Um, it's a rubber gasket right here. It's called a needle seat, and I'm going to just take a screw, press down, and then just pull it out. It did not come out. Use some priors. Okay, after using some priors, I was able to take it out. So, um, basically, everything's all cleared out. Now, what I want to do is I want to take um, uh, some wire and I want to go through all the passages and clear them out. Um, here is the main jet right here. Um, at the main jet what I do, you just poke through it and I'm just going to poke through it right here again and basically I want to go through all the passages and I want to make sure that there's no debris in it and so right now since I know there's no debris in it what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some carburetor cleaner right here and I'm going to spray through those uh, passages that I just showed you right there and I'm just going to make sure that they're all clean, cleared out right now. So I finished using carb cleaner and sprayed through all of those locations. Now I'm just going to use compressed air and make sure that all of those airs are clean. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Now since this is all clear, cleaned out, um, I'm going to put back a new uh, welch plug on here. Here's my replacement one. And all you do is you just put it on top and then... So all you do is after the welch plug is laid flat, you take a puncher. I don't have a puncher so I have a flat surface that will do and then all you do is that you just use a hammer and you just tap, punch it in. You don't have to go too crazy. One more time. There we go. That's all you have to do. After my welch, welch plug is back in, the next thing I want to do is insert the um, needle uh, seat. Um, and uh, to do so, um, you can see that there is a flat side and then there is another side that has a, a, a ring on it. The ring side needs to go inside, so that means that the flat side faces upward and then you want to uh, drop it in evenly. So it is quite difficult to get it in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, this little dental pick I have right here to help me guide it in. And if it does flip over, uh, just put compressed air through here and then this little thing should come out so 
Uh, if you can, okay, there we go. It's all the way at the bottom. So now, what I want to do is, I want to take some type of flat surface, like a screwdriver or whatsoever, have an element, uh, and then you just want to press it in ev on evenly. So there you go. We've already done all the hard parts. The rest of it is, is pretty straightforward. Um, now I want to take, uh, I want to take the needle and I put it back in like that. Insert it down. I want to take the new float pin. And insert it through. And as you can tell, that the float uh, lays uh, flat after it's in. If it's sticking too high, or too too high, that means that the uh, uh, the seat wasn't uh, installed correctly. Um, and all I have next is just to put the gasket back on. And right here, this is a bow bow nut and Earlier, I also I uh, used uh, carb uh, carburetor cleaner. I cleaned this already, so this is good. My bowl is all clean and good. So I just and there you go. Now, just I'm just gonna put this back uh, into my uh, lawnmower.